Hello, Lackawanna College writers, and welcome back to our series on comma rules. Today we are going to discuss specifically how to use commas to set off a positives in sentences. So let's start with what an appositive is. An appositive is a noun or phrase that renames a nearby noun. So it basically gives a little extra information. Here's an example. Ms. Smith, a professor at Lackawanna College, teaches math. Here we have our appositive phrase in blue, a professor at Lackawanna College, describing the noun in orange next to it, Ms. Smith. Right there, we have our positive. Here's another example. My good friend Sarah is coming to the party tonight. Sarah is describing which friend you are speaking about. Out of all my siblings, I am most like Michael, my second oldest brother. Here we have the phrase, my second oldest brother, describing Michael. So you can see right here that these appositives are in three different spots in sentences, and one does not use a comma, so let's talk about that. We use commas to set off appositives in non-essential information. So here we have an example. The city known as the city of brotherly love, comma, that's our positive phrase, Philadelphia is full of history. That first phrase describes the noun Philadelphia, but if you were to take out the phrase in blue, you would still have enough critical information. You would know which specific city you are speaking about. Therefore, that phrase is not essential and it can be separated with a comma. You do not use a comma when information is essential. So let's look at this example. The artist Vincent van Gogh painted Starry Night. Our positive phrase, Vincent van Gogh, describes the artist we're talking about, but if we were to frame his name in commas, we would not have enough information to know which specific artist painted Starry Night. Here's how it gets even trickier. So let's look at another reason why you would not separate a, a positive with commas. Here we have our positive phrase, my friend's dad, John Kennedy, is an entirely different person than John Kennedy, the former U.S. president. So if we were to separate each clause or each phrase, pardon me, with a comma, then we just simply would have John Kennedy is an entirely different person than John Kennedy. And that doesn't really give us any useful information, right? We're differentiating the two, so we kind of need those phrases in order to understand which John Kennedy we are talking about. When you use commas, remember, it's basically saying you can pluck out those phrases and the sentence is still complete. Not speaking toward grammatically complete, but speaking toward it makes sense and has all of the information necessary. So again, you can use commas in various parts of the sentence to set off a positive, as long as you have non-essential information. Here we have the starry night, my favorite painting, is currently at the Museum of Modern Art. Our positive phrase, my favorite painting, is in the middle, describing the starry night, the specific painting that we're speaking about. Notice we can take out that blue phrase and we still have enough information to know which painting we're speaking about. Same idea, moving around the appositives a little bit. Putting the appositive in the beginning, my favorite painting, comma, the starry night is currently at the Museum of Modern Art. Now notice that we have one comma because our positive phrase is my favorite painting. We are not framing the starry night with commas. That is the noun being described and that is the essential information for the sentence. You can also place your positive phrase at the end of a sentence, separating it with, it with a comma before the phrase. Same sentence, different placement. The Museum of Modern Art currently has Starry Night, comma, my favorite painting. Now, this is different if, than if you switched around the order. 
the Museum of Modern Art currently has my favorite painting, Starry Night. Notice that we are not using a comma here because if we made Starry Night the appositive describing your favorite painting and placed a comma, then we don't have the complete information. We wouldn't know which painting that you were talking about. So I hope that that was helpful. Sometimes it helps to pause these videos and review a little bit to get an idea, especially with the different placements. And as always, if you need any extra help or are struggling with your writing, please pay us a visit at the Writing Center. You can make an appointment in person or online to get some help. Happy writing, everybody.